A very good evening and welcome to the final Cheatham's concert of the year. Now, as you know, we should have been in the Bridgewater Hall playing Britain's Piano Concerto alongside Bruckner's Sixth Symphony, as well as singing some of his motets. In fact, when I visited the school a couple of weeks ago, I found a vocal score of the Locus Iste sitting abandoned on top of a piano. Work was already underway when we were all sent away at the start of lockdown. So instead we're here, online, after what I hope has been an inspiring music course of webinars, classes and conversations. Well, tonight we're going to share all the work that you've been recording over the last month or so. We'll have two world premieres for full orchestra, alongside some smaller ensembles too. First, though, we need to take a moment to say farewell and thank you to Alan Jones, who, as you know, is retiring at the end of this term after 20 years of being a head teacher. Now, you should know that I'm incredibly cross with Alan for deciding to retire. It was Alan that persuaded me to think about applying for my job as director of music, not by sending me an application form, but by being the head teacher or principal that I always wanted to work with. He epitomises everything that I believe about education, that you, the individual, are the most important thing. That musical excellence is all well and good, but being a well-rounded, curious, open-minded, level-headed human being is an essential part of that, not a lucky bonus. But I only got to work in the same building as him for a term and a half before lockdown will always be a great regret but I will cherish and follow the guidance and advice he shared over the last nine months as Nicola and I try and fill the hole that Alan leaves in chess. Now, this is a rotten way to say goodbye, so I hope, Alan, that you'll go against your own rules and visit us in the future so we can say farewell in person. Now, Alan's always said that in retirement he wants to play golf and have a dog, so I've been threatening for a while to buy him a Labrapoodle. He's also going to go out on his moped a lot more, so I wondered about some chrome finishings to go on that, but they'll come later. Now, though, we're going to open our concert with a musical nod to our brilliant departing principal. And as it plays, I'd like you to photograph yourself singing along and send it to Alan as a parting gift. Please stand for Grace Williams' setting of the Welsh National Anthem.
welcome to tonight's Violetta performance. Now, usually you get about 15 minutes of us, but tonight you'll have to do with just three. But in those three minutes, uh, a tremendous amount of work and tremendous amount of learning has been put into those three minutes. And firstly, I'd like to thank a few people for that. First and foremost, I'd like to thank the six formers who did a lot of coaching and work with the Violetta students on this, preparing them to be able to do a video with a click track. They did some online sectionals and some individual coaching. So thank you to Jamie, Aka, Faye, Lucy, Elena, Joe, Cubby and Alina for that. Secondly, I'd like to thank Mr. Redmond, who initially said that he would do the mixing of the video and audio for this performance. And then, like all great leaders, he found someone else to do it for him. So thank you so much to Sophie Stevenson and Oliver Scott, who did the mixing of the video and audio for tonight. And lastly, I'd like to thank Gemma Ashcroft, who found the arrangement of this piece that we're going to play tonight. Now, if you're about my age or older, you might remember a film called Austin Powers from the mid 90s, which is a faintly ridiculous but quite fun spoof on James Bond. And it was also a celebration of some of the absurdities of the 1960s. Now, one of the best things about this th film was the theme tune, which was actually a tune by Quincy Jones from the 1960s. Quincy Jones later became a famous producer for Michael Jackson. And it's this really funky bossa nova theme. And it really ignites the imagination about all the things like freedom and liberalism and flower power. Um, all those things about the 60s that we like and the ability to dress up in clothes with as many flowers on as possible and wear stupid scarves around your neck and things like that. So, listen, I wasn't around in the 60s, but this is what my colleagues told me. So, hope you enjoy Soul Bossa Nova by Quincy Jones. Thank you. Cheatham School Saxophone Choir have always enjoyed performing a wide variety of different styles of music. The piece that they are going to play today aims to capture the energy of many of these stars, including a Celtic reel, country and western, some modern jazz, 
and a bit of hip hop. I wanted to see if I could write a piece of music that was based on repeating the same four bar melody over and over, but played in different ways and with varying accompaniments. The piece can either be played on its own or with a backing track. And for today's performance, the students have all recorded their parts remotely, which you will now hear brought together for the first time. two pieces commissioned specially for this music course, I wanted to include a student-led project. As a school, we've set some pretty hard tasks over the last few months, and there have been some staggering results. The side-by-side -side string chamber music project was awe-inspiring. The submissions for lunchtime concerts have been overwhelmingly brilliant, but on top of your school commitment, some of you have found ways to continue to make music with your peers in projects created entirely independently. This spark and creative spirit should be celebrated. So here is the Klaus Jura Chamber Orchestra performing the overture to Mozart's Marriage of Figaro.
Beat the Curve is a composition written by five of our senior students, four of whom are in the upper sixth and about to leave. And um, it, it was written really to kind of give everybody a chance to compose something that would A, use all these other friends of theirs who are locked up in their houses, uh, as well as express some sort of optimism at what was really rather a difficult time back in March when we first had this idea. We set the composers to go away and come up with uh, a plan for this and they all thought that the idea of a rainbow or basing the music somehow on the colours of the rainbow would be a great way to start. So we have seven pieces, seven movements. Uh, the outer ones, red and violet, are um, jointly composed and the middle five have each been assigned to one of the composers to write on their own. We very much hope you enjoy Beat the Curve.
the ignorance of the educated. This is a trick of life. The indigo bunting sitting now upon the highest branch. The indigo blue that you love so much is not blue at all. The way your eyes translate bending words of so much. To assume to know so much is after all to know nothing at all. Science tells you. Sometimes you cannot help but laugh. collaborative composition by our very own students. Thanks to each and every one of you who helped to make that piece possible. So we come to the final work on our programme tonight. When we realised that school wasn't going to be able to come together for the end of term, I started to wonder about the sort of piece that we could record. Remote recording and layering seems to lend itself particularly well to more contemporary repertoire, but the problem then was that with everyone working from home, publishers were unable to send out parts and scores. So I turned to a composer who I've known for many, many years, Anthony Whedon. I first played his music when I was around 17, studying at the Junior Academy. Anthony had already left, but we played a fanfare he'd written, which I remembered as being like a magnificent blend of Shostakovich, Mahler and Strauss. It was also unbelievably high. Well, since then, he's gone on to become a hugely successful composer, orchestrator and conductor, and he very kindly agreed to write us a piece that would work to be recorded in this remote way, be challenging, be fun to play and form the grand finale of our music course. I am extremely grateful to Anthony for taking on this commission, which he turned around at a speed that many would consider impossible. But before we hear it, though, one final thank you. No one could ever have foreseen this year panning out the way it has. You have all coped admirably with the challenges that have been thrown your way. Every one of us at school is enormously proud of you. Thank you for all that you have done and continue to do. Have a wonderful, restful summer. For those who are leaving, good luck. Have fun and enjoy every moment. And for those of you who are returning next term, we cannot wait to welcome you back to Chess. This is Anthony Whedon's Suite for Cheatham's. <laughs> 